Welcome to Millennium Computer's Fast Online Tutorials for Page Builder. In this tutorial, you will learn how to use the Query Builder to create a custom query or how to find an existing query and test and or modify it. The Query Builder might be on a different menu in another application, but in Fast HR, you can open it from the Queries menu. Before you can actually build or create a reporting page, you must have a SQL query to base it on. So if you are familiar with SQL or an advanced user, you can use the Query Builder. By the way, SQL is how you pronounce the acronym SQL, which stands for Structured Query Language. You can use one of the pre-written queries in the list and test it to see if it meets your needs, or create a new query from scratch. There are several queries in the list, and you can find the one you want to use and then click it. The SQL code is inserted into the text box, and then you can click Execute Query to test and view the results. You can look over the data and verify that this is what you want, and then click Return. You can test other queries in the list, and when you've decided which one you want to use, make a note of the query name for when you create your reporting page in the Page Builder. You also have the option to create a new query, and there are two ways to do that. Write the query yourself, or use your object list to select a synonym. To write the query yourself, make sure the Query List tab is selected and then click the Create New Query link. The Query Editor opens with sections for the comments and the code. Adding a comment is optional, however, it is useful if you are going to use this query as a basis for your custom reporting page. In the large text box, you can write your query. And through the magic of this tutorial, I quickly wrote this query. And now I am going to click Execute Query to test the code and view the data. When you are done, just click Return to Query Editor. And if you are happy with the results, click Save Query. Give the query a unique name and then click Save. And now this new query is in the list. You can also use the object list to create a new query. These objects start with SYN, which is the prefix for synonym. Synonyms are used because they are updated each time the data warehouse completes, which means the synonym points at the current warehouse table and has the most up-to-date data. Please note that there may also be objects starting with TBL for tables or VW for views. It depends on which FAST application you are creating your custom report in, what kind of access you have, and what data your institution uses. When you click the object, all items you have access to within the synonym are listed. And for each item or column name, the data type and length are listed, as well as comments if there are any. To create a query against the synonym, click the Query tab over on the right. Select the check boxes for all the columns you want to use in this query. If you want to create a condition for the column, click the wizard icon on the right. Select the options you want and then click Save. I won't use a condition and we'll just close the dialog box. And now that you've selected the columns you want, you can execute the query to see what the data looks like. There are limitations in a query builder, but please be aware that those limitations are not in the reporting page builder. And so that I can test the query, I will click the View SQL tab and add another line of code. I will limit the report to female gender and class code equals FS, and then execute the SQL code again. This gives you an idea of what the data looks like. You can click the Table tab to add more columns if you want, and then rerun and test the query. Because I was just testing this query within the Query Builder, I'm going to remove the code I just added and then save it. I'm going to call this query Gender Class. If you don't want anyone else to see this query, click the checkbox called Private. Because I am not marking this query as private, users with access to the Query Builder will be able to run and edit the query, and users with access to the Query Viewer will be able to run the query. And this query is now also in the list. Remember to make a note of it if you're going to use it in the Report Builder application. I need to point out a couple of technical things. Starting with FAST version 3.5, the security model has changed. The schema name must be in front of all objects. In this example, FASTHR was automatically put in front of the object SYN employee info. However, if you have queries from FAST versions previous to 3.5, you will have to add the new schema owner. 
The schema name also needs to go in front of any inline functions, or if you are crossing boundaries to another FAST application. For example, if you are in HR and you are getting employee student credit hours, you must put FAST's do in front of that object. You can delete a query at any time by selecting it from the list and then clicking the delete button.